Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Ken, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Rich Walsh, give me a call tonight, 412-575-2600 is the number. We can talk about anything you want to talk about right now. Steelers got a lot going on on the south side. Um, back to practice tomorrow. Uh, Mason Rudolph, he's ready to go, cleared to play. Uh, practicing with the first team yesterday, should be doing the same tomorrow. Uh, they're getting healthy again. They had the bye week to kind of recoup from some injuries. Uh, the one concern right now is TJ Watt. We'll talk a little bit about that tonight and on the 11 o'clock news on KDK. Uh, but Watt's dealing with an abdominal injury from that Los Angeles game over the weekend. And that is a major concern right now because the Steelers potentially could be a little bit thin at outside linebacker for this game against Miami. I guess the good thing it is Miami. Uh, but if for some reason T.J. Watt cannot play in this game, uh, it doesn't look good for Anthony Ciccolo right now, who was told not to come to Steelers headquarters on Monday. Uh, today the players had the day off, and it's unclear if he will be there tomorrow uh, for Steelers practice. But the Steelers are kind of waiting until the investigation wraps up from the local authorities, and also the NFL is looking into this. So there will be some kind of punishment of what happened over the weekend for Anthony Ciccolo. Mike Tomlin uh, really didn't dress it, uh, address it outside of, you know, being disappointed and, and saying that he talked to Anthony Ciccolo and he was going to let things unfold. And, uh, my, and general manager Kevin Colbert had a, um, had a statement about it, just saying that they're, n they're not going to determine any type of punishment until uh, the NFL and the authorities conclude their investigation of Anthony Ciccolo's arrest for allegedly um, getting into an argument, fight, um, some kind of domestic dispute with his girlfriend at Nemecolon Woodlands over the weekend. So uh, the Steelers potentially could get back Rosie Nix for this game. Uh, Mark Barron might be available for practice. So you're going to need a guy like Mark Barron if T.J. Watt is going to be restricted in some way if Anthony Ciccolo can't play. Uh, you need as many linebacker safety kind of people that can help out. And that's kind of what Tomlin talked about. And, and they might be moving guys around. Um, are, are you worried at all, Paul, about, you know, them being thin at linebacker for this game against Miami? Because think about this. Miami, th this is the last team Miami wants to beat. Because if they beat the Steelers, that's going to hurt their first-round draft pick. Right, uh, you know, when you think about it that way. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I think, obviously, if you, if you uh, look at who they have and who they have hurt and all the other stuff, I don't see how you can't be concerned. I mean, if, if T.J. Watt can't play and Chicolo is out, what do they have left? Uh, Ola and, and Bud, and that's and about Bud. it. And that's, you know. And that they cut Jay Elliott. I guess Tuzar Skipper's yeah, available Skipper, now. Skipper, I guess, is a guy that they could go Preseason out Preseason Hall of Famer. I mean, you would think that they probably would go get him because he well, knows the defense. What if someone else picks him up? I mean, I think they're 10th or something. Yeah, well, I mean, on that waiver could claims. But I would hope that they have a claim in on him. Put it that way. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, that has to be a, that has, you, you would think that they have to put a claim in yeah, on Tuzir yeah. Skipper right now. And, um. You know, I mean, my guess is we haven't heard anything, but I don't see how Anthony Ciccolo would be available to play this weekend. I think he's going to be put on some kind of list, I would imagine. It, I mean, this is a domestic dispute. Well, this is a domestic I, violence I understand that, but, type but here's, case. Here's my thing. Don't the Patriots have a guy that's under suspicion of d d dealing drugs? Patrick Chung? Yeah, Patrick Chung. Wasn't he arrested or indicted on, like, dealing cocaine, basically? And he's playing. And he's still playing. I mean, if they don't put him on the exempt list, how do you not play him? Well, I guess we'll find out more tomorrow if he's at Steelers headquarters. I don't think um, you can suspend him. I mean, well, I, I think I, they I mean, have to I, wait till this, this. I mean, my thing is, I think if, there's not, if, the, if, the, if they're, they don't put him on the exempt list. This is just a bad look. I mean, he basically assaulted his girlfriend. I understand that, and it's bad, but there are roles in place. There are union roles. There are roles about who you can suspend and how you can suspend them, and, you know, you've got to be very, very careful. It can't just be arbitrary. Um, they could make them inactive, which I would do, but my point is 
they've got to be very careful as to how they handle it going forward just because there are union roles and the union is there and set up to protect players. So even if it's an ugly crime that he's, you know, that he's involved in, you know, the union's still got to protect him. Well, it'll be interesting to, to see what they do, um, to see if he's even at Steelers headquarters tomorrow. Um, but, you know, they, they need a backup linebacker. There's no question about right. it. I mean, that's one position that they're hurting at right now. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's a lot to uh, figure out here in the next few days for the Steelers and Mike Tomlin. Uh, but I guess the good news is for the Steelers that Mason Rudolph will play. Uh, it would even be better news if they could somehow open up this offense. Um, and we'll get into more of that coming up here after the break. But we got to take a break right now. We're taking your phone calls tonight. The Penguins lose in Florida 4-2. to two. They're against uh, in Tampa tomorrow against, one of, against the best regular season team last year uh, who also lost in the first round. Uh, Tampa. So back-to-back -back games. It's the, it's the what? Second, third set of back-to-back -back games. I think. How many do they have? Thirteen. Mm -hmm. The most in the NHL. So, uh, give us a call. By the way, Garrett Cole, not looking too hot here tonight in the World Series. Four and two, five seven five two six zero zero is the number. Back in two minutes. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and integrity still matter. 